Alrighty guys, and welcome to part 2 of the 8.11 test server uh, update. And this time we're going to be looking at the changes to tank destroyers, specifically the tier 10 tank destroyers and the top tier French tank destroyers. Now before you get your panties in a bundle, the Yagpans E100, the Object 263, aka the open top Russian uh, tank destroyer, and the FV215B183 were unchanged. It, basically, if it had a 150mm gun, it was nerfed. Uh, basically, there was a quote-unquote rebalancing, or, you know, obviously a nerf, to the following tanks. The AMX5155, Object 268, T110E3, T110E4, and then Waffen E100. Um, but before we look at those tanks, we have to look at the uh, French tanks, which is the tier 8, 9, and 10 specifically. All the other ones were really unchanged. Uh, basically, in these ones, the armor model was changed, and I believe actually in this one, I mean, I know in the update video I couldn't find something. I think the top actually was what was changed. The side and rear don't, don't really look changed, and I know the front's the same. I feel like it's the top, maybe, that's changed. I honestly have no idea what was changed with this. I'm stumped. If you guys know in the comments, please, please tell me, because I can't figure it out. I've looked back, and I, I don't know what it is. Maybe there's, like, some extra view ports here. I don't I don't own the tank. I don't know. Um, so that's that. Uh, the Fosh, I know, however, had the side and rear armor taken down by 10 millimeters, which honestly is kind of pointless because it didn't have any armor there anyways so instead of 50 millimeters you now have uh, 40 so oh no sucks to be with you the Fosh 155 the exact same thing happened the side and rear armor was nerfed to uh, 40 millimeters instead of 50 millimeters so that is the only changes in armor um, and that is that and they were only to the uh, French uh, top tier uh, tank destroyers, which I believe are all kind of based off of the same type of chassis, and they all look pretty similar. So, I think that's the idea. Anyway, uh, let's look at the other uh, tank destroyers. Um, let's start out with the Waffentrager E100. Uh, basically, this thing had its engine power nerfed from uh, Oh, apparently in the patch notes it said it has engine power nerfed, but it doesn't here? What is... Hmm, that's interesting. Well, the patch notes say that the engine power is supposed to be nerfed by 200 horsepower from 1200 to 1000, but it doesn't appear like that was the case, so I guess it's not the case. Um, so you can ignore that. Uh, the turret traverse, however, has been um, decreased by 2 degrees per second from uh, 24 degrees to 22. The turret traverse gun dispersion, basically how big your aiming reticle gets uh, with the 12.8 centimeter gun, which is the one I have right here, uh, basically your Yag Tiger top gun, uh, that has been increased by 212%. Holy shnikes! The accuracy hasn't been touched, but the spread is now going to be over twice as big. Holy crap. I mean, that that's an incredible amount. I don't know what it was before, but, I mean, it is... You're, you're going to notice it when you use this tank. The same thing goes for the 15cm. Uh, However, it was only, only by 75%. I mean, that, that's still an incredible amount to be increased by. I... I want to see what this thing was like before the patch. Holy crap. Um, that is insane. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but that's all that was changed about this tank. But still, that's an... I mean, I think that's a pretty big nerf. It also looks like there's this giant freaking tumor right here that was added. I'm not sure what that's for. Or if that was there before. I don't remember that. Uh, it kind of looks like a... The observation thing, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but that is that. Um, up next, we have the T110E3, aka the Super Turtle. Uh, the reload speed has been decreased from 18.3 seconds to 17 seconds. Basically, the rate of fire has been jumped up from 
uh, 3.28 to 3.53. Now, before you get your panties in a bunch again, the alpha damage has been dropped from 850 to 750 on both AP and APCR rounds. So you keep the same uh, uh, rate of uh, you, you keep the same damage per minute. However, you lose alpha damage. So it's a trade-off. I think that most people would be willing to take, considering it's supposed to be a nerf. Uh, it's really hasn't been changed at all. Uh, it's just got less alpha in the same DPM. So it's not an, not too bad of a nerf, to be honest. I mean, there are much worse nerfs. Trust me. Uh, the T110E4 has received a similar nerf. Um, the reload speed has been decreased from 21 seconds to 19 and a half seconds. Or, you know, in the same terms, the rate of fire has been put up from 2.86 rounds per minute to 3.08, which is not bad at all. Um, again, the rate of the, the damage is set at 750 for both AP and APCR rounds. But, I mean, that's not a bad nerf at all, considering what could have happened. I mean, you look at the Waffentrager, I mean, that's that, that, I think, is a pretty good nerf. I mean, that gun was pretty overpowered, I'll be honest. But now it's not so much. Now we get into the next tank, which has kind of been rebalanced of sorts, and that's Object 268. Uh, this one has traverse speed of the tank, a.k.a. how fast it can turn on 360, uh, change from 30 degrees per second to 28. Uh, the dispersion during movement has been increased by 11%, basically how big when you're traveling forward does the uh, reticle get. Uh, the dispersion caused by turning has been increased by 11%, aka how much when you turn your hull, uh, traversing it, uh, has been increased. Also, you can only go in reverse uh, 15 kilometers an hour instead of 18. Uh, so your speed has been nerfed, excuse me. Also, the, re the reload speed has been decreased from 17 seconds to, drumroll please, 16 and a half seconds. That's right, you save a whole half second on your reload. That's a 3.53 rounds per minute to 3.64. So, you know, praise the gods, you're losing some, re uh, you're gaining some rate of fire. Uh, the alpha has been changed from 850 to 750, which I think is a good, uh, good thing. Uh, especially on this tank, I mean, it was a freaking boss before, so it's not so much anymore. Uh, and the penetration for gold shells has been changed from 450 uh, uh, millimeters to 395, and I think I need to go actually back to the Waffentrager 100, I missed something. The gold shells on, I believe it is the, um, where do I check this? Uh, nope, not that one. It's the fifth. It must be the fifteen centimeter. This one. Uh, your penetration. No, nope, it's not this one. Uh, which one uses? It must be this one. Anyways, the gold shells on one of them has been decreased. Uh, the heat, it apparently fired heat shells. Oh no, it's a Fosh one five five. What am I looking at? Uh, this one, this one has had its gold shells nerfed. Uh, now instead of doing 405 millimeters of penetration, only does 395. And we have never, no, I don't even have to talk about that yet. Uh, but that's object 268, uh, the nerfs to it. Now let's talk about the Fosh. And like I literally just said, the heat ammo has been lowered from uh, 408 millimeters, 395 millimeters of penetration. Um, the engine power has been lowered from uh, a 1,200 horsepower engine to a 1,000 horsepower engine, and the alpha damage has been lowered like every other tank from 850 to 750. However, it has not received any compensation on rate of fire. So now, instead of your burst being able to take out most tier 10s, you can now take out majority of their health. Yay! You saved 300 health. Good job, you guys. Uh, so that's that with the Fosh, that's that with pretty much everything uh, as far as changes. So, uh, you know, this has been a pretty short video, honestly. I mean, I think that these changes are, you know, pretty good. I mean, luckily my beloved, uh, <laughs> I can't even say that, it's not, I, wow, I mean, my mediocre at best, the Eggpants 100, hasn't even been touched, which is nice. Uh, like, a nerf to it would be like a nut tap, you know, from Albert Poolhouse. But, un unfortunately, the Death Star, 
this thing, the 183, has not been nerfed at all. It hasn't been changed. And I know it's got crazy rate of fire, crazy low rate of fire, and it only has 12 rounds or 13 rounds or whatever it can hold, 12 rounds. But, I mean, really, it's not like it's... It's not like this thing is overpowered at all. It can only do 1,800 damage every freaking shot. Um, so, I... I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you'd nerf this thing. I mean, I feel like it's already got so much, like... So much stuff that's bad with it. And the only thing that's good with it is the alpha damage with... With, uh... With premium ammo. So, I don't know how you could nerf it without making people incredibly angry. Because, really, it doesn't have great armor. And it doesn't really have anything going for it, to be honest. I mean, there's not a lot it has. So... Uh, it is what it is, uh, as far as that, um, uh, I, 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 I don't know how I feel about these changes, I mean, I, I like the idea, I like the idea that, um, tanks have lower, uh, alpha damage, but I feel like one of them needs to keep that 850 damage gun just to be different, you know, and I, I definitely don't want it to be this tank, because this thing is overpowered as it is, but I feel like the T110s, you know, something just to keep them different from everything else, you know, at that extra little uh, damage, you know, at the cost of rate of fire, obviously. Um, I, I personally like the idea that TDs can do massive amounts of damage, but I just think people need to understand that Alpha has to cost something, and you know, when it doesn't, I mean, you get tanks, you get tanks like this, it, it's got good DPM, good camo, decent armor, pretty good mobility. It's 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 basically a very very good tank. I mean, there isn't really a drawback for this tank, you know, except maybe armor. But you know, at tier ten, when everyone's you know and their mother basically is shooting gold rounds, you know, except for me, the uh, armor doesn't really mean jack diddly. But, you know, and then you see the Object 268 lose some of that mojo it, you know, had. It's, it's pretty nice. I mean, this thing actually might be a, a balanced tank. Uh, you know, I I just wish people feared my Jagdpanzer U100. I'll be honest. I wish people feared this thing. I mean, really, who wants to take 1,100 damage every time they get hit by this thing? But, I mean, they just see it as a freaking toy. I mean, I don't know. It, you know, at least toys would be fun. I wish this thing was a goddamn toy. It's more of like a chore. Uh, but, I don't know. The, then there's the Object 263, I mean, which has, a, I think, a really good gun. It's a 130mm gun IS-8, or IS-7, rather, which is a pretty good pretty good tank, or a pretty good gun. IS-8, I think, is pretty, IS-7 is a pretty good tank, in my opinion. I've... I don't, I don't know, I don't buy the BS that it's one of the worst tier 10s. I think the IS-4 easily could be worse, but I don't own either one of them. So I've only played them in the test server, I can't say for sure. Um, but I mean, this thing's got the exact same gun as the IS-7 with a bit higher rate of fire. And, you know, it only does 550 damage a shot, which, to be honest, is not that bad. I mean, so... It, it kind of acts like the Yag Tiger. Uh, whenever you know you shoot someone, they're kind of like, ah, it's just, uh, it's just an object two six three. It can't do jack. But you know, then you shoot three or four shots, and each one takes a fourth of their health. I mean, people start to notice it. I mean, and if and if the object two six eight wasn't just OP as all hell, I, I I think I would prefer this tank purely because of the gun. I mean, and for tank destroyers, the gun is everything. I mean, that's why when you see a tank destroyer nerf, it's the gun immediately. Because the gun is, basically makes a tank destroyer. I mean, you can't destroy tanks with your armor. I mean, you can prolong the fight, but if your gun can't take out a tank, you're not going to be a tank destroyer. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm biased in the fact, but I love my Yag Tiger. I think it's my crack cocaine, so... You know, when when everyone fights over the DPM versus Alpha, I mean, which one is better? I I personally think that DPM wins purely because um, DPM can beat out a lot of tanks, whereas Alpha, I mean, this thing can scare people. But I mean, if this thing doesn't derp you in one shot, you've got half a minute to fire back. 
You know, and you can do a lot of damage in 30 seconds. Um, but, I mean, I, 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 mu I also must say that this the reason that this tank is not very good is because prior to this patch, these two literally had the exact same DPM. I mean, we look at this, and the DPM is 3,000 uh, average damage per minute. This one is 2,700. It's still very close. But before, I'm pretty sure they're both exactly 3,000, or very close to 3,000. So, I mean, you'd obviously choose the Object 268 over it, because number one, it's got the Alpha, and number two, it's a lot more sneaky, I think. I I find that this thing is a very sneaky tank whenever I have to play against it. I don't know why, but it's just a sneaky little tank. And this thing is, you know, pretty low to the ground, too, so it's kind of sneaky, but I don't know. I... I don't know what to say. I, I like the idea of the nerf. I think that the nerf was needed, but most of the tanks honestly didn't get nerfed. They just got like rebalanced to have the exact same stats, just shifted around. I mean, if that was the idea, then good job, Wargaming succeeded, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Um, there's definitely good things about it, but there's certainly bad things, and I don't know. I, I, it's up to discussion for all you guys so if you enjoyed this video if you stayed this long thank you for letting me rant on about this stuff uh, so comment, like, subscribe I will have my hopefully I'll have my map video up tomorrow I just have to wait for my freaking laptop to work for once um, but I will catch you guys later